like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I have a video I want to share with you that I just find to be a little interesting. Now, I have not said what my faith is. Don't assume. But this is about Christian women, especially black Christian women. Something she said about dating and finding a man and everything like that. I I'm going to say that just, just listen to what she has to say. I can't wait to hear your opinions. You can't pray your way out of singleness. You can't pray your way to marriage and you cannot pray your way to a relationship. And I know that that's going to be controversial because I got a, a lot of Christian women who follow me. I myself am Christian or whatever your faith base is. You have to do the work. I get a lot of people who come to me and they say, oh, well, you know what happened to you? How you found your husband was just by the grace of God. And while that is true, it is also true that I did things to improve my odds of dating. I got braces as an adult because I needed to fix my teeth. I went to therapy that had to happen. I took Feminine Renaissance University. I took a styling course and I took some etiquette lessons in Switzerland. All of that definitely improved my dating. I always had the grace of God. Even in the 20 years where I was single dating in the dead end, I always had the grace of God. You always have the grace of God. So that's, that's a given. But you can't do this based on praying in God's grace. This is why a lot of single Christian women are at the back of the line. They haven't found the marriage that they desire. They haven't found the man that they desire because they think prayer is all they have to do. No, you're going to have to put yourself out there. You're going to have to risk rejection. You're going to have to improve yourself. You're going to have to get fit. You're going to have to heal mentally, emotionally, spiritually. All of these things are necessary. You can't skip that part of it. And it's like people don't want to do the work and they're looking for some sort of magic, some sort of sprinkle that's going to happen to them. No, you have to put in the work. That's, that is the only way. So you can have faith, you can have God's grace, but you also must put effort in. You can't just sit at home and do nothing and think that he's going to happen because you've been praying. It doesn't work that way. So I really want to call women of faith to the front of the line. And how I'm doing that is by letting them know that prayer is not a plan when it comes to dating. You need both. You need to pray, have faith, and you need to do the work. You need to improve. And I'm here to just encourage you to do that. It Trust me. Trust me. It works. Y'all know I got an opinion. I have said this before. I've said this before. I've said what she said. The man ain't going to fall out the sky. You got a lot of black women sitting around in church knowing doggone well the majority of the congregation ain't nothing but women. What man is coming? They not even in there. They're looking for a man who is like them into the church like them and the men are not even there. And the men who do go to the church, half of them don't even interact with the women and date them. Some of them do sleep around with the women in there and some of them don't even talk to the women. They just go there. Here's the thing. That's sort of interesting to me. Am I crazy? I just need to know, am I crazy where I feel there's some sort of contradiction? Because it is true to me that you have to put yourself around men in order to be noticed. She said, I got my teeth fixed. I went to etiquette school. I went to styling school. All of this, it sounds like for preparation to, to, in order to get a man. And I'm not dissing her for it. I hope it was for herself. I mean, you know, she's, you know, a girly girl went to stuff like that anyway. But the thing that's interesting to me is the contradiction where from what I have heard and know about the Christian doctrine in the Bible, it says, I will give you your heart's desire if you follow me. If you pray to me and follow my way, I'm going to give you what you want. That's what it does say. Anybody who is hardcore Christian, let me know in the comment section, am I wrong? In the Bible, according to the doctrine of the Bible, people who say it's God's word, we know there are other religions on the planet, but we just going to roll with this. They say God said, I'm going to give you the desires of your heart. If you follow me, if you pray to me, well, that's what the women are doing. Isn't that what God said in the Bible? Pray to me, be good, follow my rules. And I'm going to give you what's in your heart. I'm going to give you the man you want. I'm going to give you the money you want. I'm going to bless you. But it also says that it is he who finds a wife. So are women supposed to be searching for a man or is the man supposed to be searching for the woman? 
Isn't that a contradiction? One minute I got to fix my teeth. I got to do all these things to appear physically beautiful on the outside. But then God puts in the Bible, a man is supposed to know my heart and not be focused on my physical. That is, it is the heart of the woman that will attract him to you, your energy, your vibe, your faith. And that will attract a man to you to choose you as a wife. But on the other flip side, we got to look good. And it's true, you do. In this world, or so it appears, but every man's taste is different. Men, even men who claim to be religious men, keep saying it in their sermons. She ain't looking good. She don't look good. My eyes will stray. Your eyes were straying regardless. You look at every woman, whether you're married or not. Stop the bull crap. But then you want to say, God made me this way. Well, I like to look at good looking men too. You do know that, right? Is it an excuse for you to so-called go out of yourself and your nature and be the dog that you always were and hide behind religion and the excuse that God gave me permission because you fell off in the looks department? But then on the other end, we're preaching that God said it is the heart that matters and not anything to do with physical. That's why you shouldn't even um, look at somebody because you should gouge your eyes out because you were wrong to lust for someone, which I disagree with. We're human beings. Of course, I'm going to look at a man I find attractive and he's going to look at a woman he find attractive. We don't know each other. All we know is what we first see. And you can't deny attraction. You just can't. It's always there. Not with everyone, but with certain people. So am I wrong and crazy to say that there's a lot of contradictions going on one minute? And it's true. Again, I said I'm not a hardcore Christian, but it is true. You need to go out. So many black women are in the church, single, lonely, miserable, um, sexually oppressed, repressed, and all of that, hoping and praying that this man is going to show up in church or drop out out the sky. But then again, you never know when you can meet your husband, just going out grocery shopping, just taking a walk. If she's been doing what it was, what you were told to do, pray to me, ask. Be good, follow my word, be a righteous woman. And they're doing all of that. And their, their prayer is still not getting answered. Isn't that a little bit problematic? Doesn't that show us there's something possibly wrong here? And that, listen, I'm not trying to make anybody stray from what their beliefs are. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let me play what she said one more time can't pray your way out of singleness you can't pray your way to marriage and you cannot pray your way to a relationship and i know that that's going to be controversial because i got a, a lot of christian women who follow me i myself am christian or whatever your faith base is you have to do the work i get a lot of people who come to me and they say oh well you know what happened to you how you found your husband was just by the grace of god and while that is true it is also true that i did things to improve my odds of dating i got braces as an adult because i needed to fix my teeth i went to therapy that had to happen. I took Feminine Renaissance University. I took a styling course and I took some etiquette lessons in Switzerland. All of that definitely improved my dating. I always had the grace of God. Even in the 20 years where I was single dating in the dead end, I always had the grace of God. You always have the grace of God. So that's, that's a given. But you can't do this based on praying in God's grace. This is why a lot of single Christian women are at the back of the line. They haven't found the marriage that they desire. They haven't found the man that they desire because they think prayer is all they have to do. No, you're going to have to put yourself out there. You're going to have to risk rejection. You're going to have to improve yourself. You're going to have to get fit. You're going to have to heal mentally, emotionally, spiritually. All of these things are necessary. You can't skip that part of it. And it's like people don't want to do the work and they're looking for some sort of magic, some sort of sprinkle that's going to happen to them. No, you have to put in the work. That's, that is the only way. So you can have faith, you can have God's grace, but you also must put effort in. You can't just sit at home and do nothing and think that he's going to happen because you've been praying. It doesn't work that way. So I really want to call women of faith to the front of the line. And how I'm doing that is by letting them know that prayer is not a plan when it comes to dating. You need both. You need to pray, have faith, and you need to do the work. You need to improve. And I'm here to just encourage you to do that. It Trust me. Trust me. It works. Okay. Well, I do agree with a lot of what she says, but it's also interesting to me. We as women are always told what we got to do. I mean, she mentioned getting fit, which is good. You need to get, you know, it's good for your health. 
What about the man? You know, at the end of the day, any woman who is married, whether you're a Christian woman or not, you're only married because a man chose you. He has to decide. You can be perfect, so-called perfect, and he still won't wife you up. He might still want to be a player. It's all about if he wants it or not, if he thinks you're so-called worthy or not. You know, you can do everything and still not get chosen. <laughs> it's just, it can some say it's just the luck of the draw at this point. Um, there are a lot of women who are pretty decent women who are into the church. Some of them are, are fake as, as I don't know what church women. It's a mixture going on with them. But at the end of the day, a lot of women who aren't even Christian, who aren't even religious are getting husbands. So I don't know. You know, I just think there's a lot of contradictions going on within the faith and church. You know, I'll give you what you want if you just pray and act right and follow my rules. Well, they're sitting there getting older and older every year and it's not even happening and they're doing all of that. Or it is he who finds a wife. Oh, but now you need to go do things and do all this and search for a man. But then again, I mean, you do need to put yourself around them for them to notice you, you know, for them to notice you, you do. And Men, at the end of the day, men and women are still human, regardless of faith. Men and women are still human first. And y'all have just certain instincts and things about you that just can't be taken out. It's just there. We're human beings. And um, a man is still going to be visual, regardless of what his faith is. It is just is what it is. And women as well. You know, um, I guess the faith is there to help try to help you get balanced and to you know, keep some sort of order or help people. Um, but I want to know your opinion. What is your opinion about what she said? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, what do you think about what I said? Let me know, especially hardcore Christian women. Um, I can't wait to hear your comments. Bye.